Okay, welcome to part two of our tutorial series on Django design patterns. This one is going to be a little more complicated than the singleton. Uh, it just goes without saying. And we actually need to install a new, uh, so it's not just part of Django's tools. We've got to install with pip, pip Django strategy field, because we're going to be talking about the strategy design pattern. So, whoops pip install. If I wasn't uh, ridiculous, I would type it correctly. There we go. Okay, so this is a pretty small uh, package. It should download pretty fast. Um, and we're going to start a new project. Start project. Go tutorials. All right. And we're going to go in there and we're going to uh, I'm going to make a uh, start an app called test app so just to have something to do this with so okay cool now we can see all of our beautiful uh, Django framework has been initiated so on to the uh, strategy pattern well how are we going to do this so we are going to start by making a model Let's say test model, like so. Um, and this model, um, let's say, uh, well, you know, what's a good use of, uh, of strategy? Um, let's say instead of calling this text model, this is going to be fun, we're going to call this a duck. So what can a duck do? Well, a duck uh, can quack and it can fly. And those can be different strategy patterns because you never know how a duck is going to quack. It might quack in very uh, numerous kinds of ways. So let's see, how would we implement that, a different quacking pattern for each duck? So we're going to implement by, we're going to take, first take these strategy fields, we're going to import a strategy field. And from um, registry, we're going to uh, import registry. All right, easy peasy lemon squeezy. So what is this going to be? Well, we're going to call it the quack, and the quack is equal to a strategy field. Easy peasy. So that seems like that makes sense, right? Except we need to add the series of strategies to this. So let's just type this by registry equals registry. But you'll see we haven't actually formed a registry yet. So we're kind of doing this a little bit backwards, but registry is equal to, um, <clears throat> we're going to make this a registry, and we're going to uh, add our strategy to it. So let's say that this is going to be uh, abstract quack, right? Also not made yet, but let's make it. Abstract quack is going to be a object. So like the design pattern and strategy, if you've ever seen it before, what it essentially means is we're going to make one function that changes uh, throughout. So um, because we are bringing in some context with the Django uh, strategy pattern, we need to update the initialization like so and set the context to the context that we're going to be introducing. So you can see uh, abstract quack is going to have a context associated with it. Now, what else do we do? Let's make a quack pattern, which is going to tell it how it quacks. Now, because this is an abstract class, uh, another very important part, we're not going to ever instantiate this particular abstract quack. So if somebody tries to quack with a uh, an abstract class like this, we're going to actually raise an error that says this has not been implemented, so you can't do this. Uh, an abstract quack is not a quack at all. So in order to develop uh, quacks that can be used, we're going to call this a, let's say, normal quack, right? And what is a normal quack? Well, it's a form of abstract quack where we re 
replace the quack method is we inherit and then we replace with quack. We'll just make it like that. All right, great. And now let's put in a second just so you can see the difference between that a normal quack and a loud quack. So this is again another kind of abstract quack, but we're going to replace the quack method with a loud quack. Very good. Okay. All right. So we have two different strategies: a normal quack and a loud quack. So how do we get those strategies in there? Well, we type that registry and we register the normal quack and we registry register the loud quack. Done. Very good. Okay. So this is all really ready to go. Um, and let's uh, see how this all comes together. Okay. So back in the admin panel, we're just going to do from the models we're going to take in our doc and we're going to register the doc as a decorator on our doc admin. Great. And that's all we need to do to be able to see it in our admin panel. And just to point out, so it's clear uh, in case anyone gets frustrated with this, very important that you type uh, manage py make migrations. We're going to be making some changes to the database. So if it gives you trouble, um, you may not have migrated the database. And then after you do that, you type manage py migrate to actually initiate those changes in your database. All right, now we're good to go. <clears throat> All right, so here we are in our admin panel. And let's take a look if we're going to add a duck. We have a duck and we can add and we can change what their quack is. So you see we got the Lord loud quack and the normal quack. Let's set it to a loud quack, right? Save. And now let's give it a try. Now you probably want to integrate this into your app, but what I'm just going to do is just show how it's working, right? Because we're just going to go into PY manage uh, PY shell so we can actually uh, just test it from the command line. Um, nothing fancy really. So from uh, test app uh, models import duck. We're bringing in the duck. And then the duck that we're talking about is duck objects first, which is the duck we just created, right? So now um, if we wanted to implement this strategy pattern up here, we would go to the duck object, duck and then we would go to the quack field and then we would go to the quack method and that's all that it takes. So if I go duck quack quack, it's a loud quack. See? Now if we go back to the admin and we change this around, it's not a loud quack anymore, but a normal quack. Um, I think we're going to have to exit out the shell. Well, let's just try it. I think it, it only sources it once. So, yep. So, okay. So let's try objects first. And now let's try it again. Duck, quack, quack. Ta-da! We grabbed it from the database again, showing that, uh, you know, refreshing it. And now you can see it is quacking in a quiet way, as opposed to the loud way. Now you might be like, okay, great. I can make this duck quack in different ways. How is that useful? Well, the strategy pattern is extremely useful in a lot of different circumstances. You'll often find that you need functionality that is extensible, that is uh, uh, modular. So the strategy pattern is useful in any case where you're going to have some kind of action happening and it could vary uh, per user, per client, uh, or whatever it is. Um, a great example I can think of uh, would be exporting files. So let's say a user has a preference that they would prefer to receive reports in PDF, and some users would prefer to receive reports in uh, docx files. Um, anytime that you might find uh, uh, a potential uh, a variability in, in what is needed, what actions are needed, um, and this really touches on a very important concept, which is the concept of encapsulating that which varies. It's one of these uh, uh, hard and fast rules uh, of programming that you would do best to follow. 
if you ever have anything that varies um, in, in usage, you do not want to hard code that into the system. You want to create a system here where we can upgrade it because let's say a new kind of export format comes along or let's say a duck that simply cannot quack comes along. Well, if we make the no quack, then we can make it so that nothing happens when they quack. Or if we have another so, uh, 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 you know, extremely loud quack, see how easy it is to make more functionality whenever you need to. And all we would do is register these like so. And we're good to go. We might as well have just added extra export functionality, extra alert functionality, any kind of functionality. Now imagine the last time that you worked on a hard-coded system and how much of a pain in the butt it is to change it around. With this kind of modular system, instantly. Your boss will love you, the clients will love you, everyone will love you. This is key to being a fast, productive, and organized programmer. Thank you so much for watching.